Welcome to News 3. I'm Todd Carrillo. Topping our headlines, changes for schools in Suffolk this afternoon. Masks are now optional for staff, parents, visitors and volunteers at all the city's public schools. This went into effect yesterday. The district says this is due to the number of people vaccinated and the current level of transmission. Masks have been optional for students since the beginning of the month. Over in Chesapeake, the health department is closing one of its COVID-19 vaccine clinics. Tomorrow is the last day to get COVID vaccines at the Dominion Commons Clinic at Grassfield. They are open from 10 until 3. You must make an appointment. After that, you can get COVID vaccines at the Chesapeake's main health department vaccine clinic on Battlefield Boulevard. As for the high price of gas, it is leveling off. The cost of a barrel of oil has remained steady, which has slowed down prices at the pump. Right now, the national average for a gallon of gas is 424. Here in Virginia, average gas prices are 412 a gallon, and in Hampton Roads, we are sitting a penny higher, costing $4.13 a gallon. Now let's head over to meteorologist Maddie Kirker in the first warning weather center. You know, Todd, probably not the best day to be getting gas outside because of how cold it is. You may want to wait till tomorrow if you can. It's going to be a little more comfortable for you. Highs today only in the 40s. That's about 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. You add the wind on top of that. It is a very cold day today. Heading into overnight tonight, we're looking at warming temperatures because a south wind kicks up and that'll help to moderate things as we head towards tomorrow. Speaking of that, here's your temperature trend. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll likely be back in the mid 60s. The warmest day is Thursday with highs near 80. But speaking of Thursday, we're tracking some rain. A cold front is going to sweep in from west to east. This will likely give us a chance of seeing some thunderstorms and some of those could be strong to severe. Take a look now at your first warning seven day forecast. Yes, we're warming things up, especially for tomorrow and Thursday. Weekend looking pretty good too with some showers possible early Sunday.